Hi, Hi fellow birdies. birdies, and welcome back to another edition of Songbirds Eating Show. In today's video, we're going to be checking out a local restaurant called Kazba. Now, they sell Moroccan, Mediterranean style food, and we've had actually eaten food here before for a smart channel as well as this channel, but we're actually going to go inside today and take a look around and try the menu. So, are you guys ready? Yep, yep. Let's, Let's go. get started. guys we are now back with our food and we have got a very good selection for you guys so for me I decided to order the vegetarian platter it comes with pita bread falafel hummus spana copita roasted vegetables potatoes and grape leaves so a lot of goodies I'm going with the mixed grill that's got you know skewers chicken and beef you know, lamb and rice, and rice. Okay. could be wrong okay. but it is so I'm gonna try all those hummus first and falafel. Very good. Mmm. Mm. Definitely in the seasoning. That is good. The hummus is nice and creamy. Thoroughly grilled. Definitely a good and refreshing taste. I love falafel too. Like it's nice and crunchy. May I try? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're gonna try with the hummus. Steel. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. I'm always a fan of hummus. Mm -hmm. Like, I usually go red pepper on this, but that one's a nice and creamy one. Like the taste. Of course, it goes well with, you know, the falafel. I said it for the chicken. I like the season. What is this? This is baklava. Ah, yes. It's gonna be our dessert, I think. Um, I'm gonna try the grape leaf next. I'm definitely a big fan of grape leaves. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It tastes really good. I'm gonna try some with hummus. Okay, let's see now. Let's go with beef. The hummus definitely has a good flavor. Look how love how creamy that is. And the grape leaves definitely taste too good too. Mm -hmm. I think it's just filled with like, yeah, and it's filled with like rice. And rice. Mm. So far I'm definitely loving it. Mm -hmm. Beef too. Well, I've seen it. Like this one they've got definitely very seasoned. Mm -hmm. Let's see it, which I think works well with it. Let's see it. It's a little bit more done than I prefer, Good. but Try some it works very either. well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was definitely better hummus. Like, definitely really good quality. Making me jealous. <laughs> but let's see, let's with the lamb. I think this is the lamb. This is the lamb, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think my favorite part so far is definitely like the great leaves. And the falafel. I remember you got me into great leaves to begin with. I was very dubious. <laughs> like when he first started trying out this food. Mm -hmm. He wasn't a huge fan of grape leaves. Now he doesn't mind them so much, so that's good. What do we don't mind? I like them. <laughs> that's even better. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm definitely really impressed with the food. Indeed. Like it's been ages since I've had Cosba, but it's always been really good. Mm hmm. Okay. 
Not too far for the rice, which is pretty just rice, but still. My favorite thing from here, though, that they sell is probably the Cosba chips, and it comes with falafel. It's like an appetizer, mm-hmm. but I'll get it next time. We're looking for the dessert this time. We got roasted and carrots and potatoes. I feel like the you know, rice is you know, a bit buttery, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, with a lot of rice, you know, dishes, not all of them, like fried rice is also good, but with a lot of them, they have to go with something to be good. This is perfectly good on its own. Mm. I do think the vegetables could use a little bit more salt, but they're not good. Like, I love roasted vegetables more than actually eating them raw. Do I taste cinnamon? Hmm. No, it's not cinnamon. Especially all the roasted potatoes. They're really good. I'm not sure what kind of seasoning it is. You know, I'm probably not probably we'll find out, but it's a little bit on the sweet side, just a little mm-hmm. bit. That's steam. My fresh potatoes. Now try some of the spina copita. And basically, if you guys don't know what spina copita is, like a fellow pastry filled with, you know, feta and spinach. It looks good. Mm-hmm. I've had it before. <laughs> Mind if I swipe some? Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, it reminds me of why I like, you know, plock veneer so much. Mm-hmm. I've always been a big fan of spinach, especially cream spinach, but mm-hmm. also, you know, plock veneer and like pretty much everything I like, you know, cold, you know, um, spinach, you know. Mm. Definitely takes the spinach and the feed on. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Definitely pretty good. You gotta be really careful cutting it down. It's like that was a as a flaky pastry sort of thing. It was like really flaky, so it comes apart pretty easily. But you know, mm-hmm. let me show how I see the chicken because I really forgot to do that. And for like everything, <laughs> I feel like an idiot. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think I like this best, the B for this. Which was your favorite one? I don't know, sometimes. It's hard to say, I hope I like yourself. <laughs> Let's see now. This is very good. The you know, hummus and the and, and, and falafel was delicious. Mm-hmm. Lean towards the hummus and falafel. But this is a, a good second. This was definitely pretty good too. Mm-hmm. I just kind of wish the you know, dough wasn't so flaky, but hey, it kind of makes it more fun. Like I said, I was wondering, like, are you supposed to like eat like a sandwich, or you know, is it, or is knife and fork the right way? It's um, I, I would just use like a knife and fork. I got you. I got you. Mmm. Oh my god. <laughs> so y'all like so far, definitely <laughs> loving the menu. What is your favorite part? Well, like I said, I like the falafel. I like the grape leaves especially. I must have missed that part. I feel dumb. Hummus. Mm-hmm. I'm really so curious about those though. Because I've never really had like fuck lava before, I don't think. We haven't? I don't think I have. If I have, it's been a long time. I got you. Maybe I got across with something else. Mm-hmm. I thought we'd have it before. It's definitely good food.
Mm. Yeah, when I eat food from this cuisine, mm -hmm. I usually like to use a lot of hummus. Yeah. Like, to me, I think my most favorite kind of hummus is garlic. Mm-hmm. It's just not good by itself. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to quite say hummus makes everything better, but it goes well with a lot of things. Like, mm -hmm. I this often have bagels. This is really good hummus. I think that's comparable, like Earl Grey. We, I always get it sweet. I like my tea sweet. <laughs> mm -hmm. But definitely a delicious one. Mm -hmm. Now then, let's go. Are we ready for baklava? Baklava. Hmm. All right. Oh, you gave me the bigger piece. There Thank you. Go. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I like pistachios. Mmm. They're good. Indeed. I'm trying to figure out the sticky stuff is. Mmm. Mmm. That's just like almonds. Mmm. It's not a pistachio. I can see almonds. Like, here's the real thing I noticed. It doesn't have like you know, you know, a lot of sugar or anything on it. From I can tell, mm -hmm. it doesn't have like any like you know, frosting. But there's definite sweetness to it. It's made of like a fellow dough too. Dough, I think. I don't know. I use like a more about black black flour. So, you know, forgive me for that. But. I do remember that it's you know, flaky. Mainly, it's like focuses on nuts, pistachio sort of thing. Mm -hmm. It's very sweet, so this is very, very really good by Clara. Very good quality. I definitely think I like this one the best. You know. Mm -hmm. Aww, thank you. Definitely really good. Kind of got it. a little bit of buttery flavor. Hmm, I tried buttery bit. Does the flavor remind me of? I keep forgetting. It's kind of buttery. Pecans, maybe? What's the pistachio? It's pecan. It's pistachios. What's the pistachios in it? Oh, yeah. Not bad. Mm -hmm. My favorite items, I think, in rank. Mm -hmm. This was number one, Bukalava. The number two item was um, the Great Flames. Mm -hmm. And number three item was the hummus with the falafel. So definitely pretty good. They say the Spanico Copada wasn't bad. This was like, I wish it didn't fall apart so easily. <laughs> but hey, you know. For me, number one is baklava as well, followed by the hummus and falafel. And it's hard to decide between the Spanico Copada, I hope I'm not butchering that, and the, you know, um, beef, you know. You know which we'll call it, skewer. Yeah, beef, you had lamb and you had chicken. So like you had all three of them. Mm -hmm. And then you had rice and roasted yes. vegetables. So yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of goodness, a lot of goodness in this place. They got like a really good variety. They even have um, gyro sandwiches here as well. Mm -hmm. And a lot of other desserts too. And personally, I would recommend this. You guys are in the Memphis area, love like food from this cuisine. Be sure to stop by Casma. Check them out. Yep, yep. It's right off Germantown Road. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this review of Casma. And if you're in the area, please stop by and check them out. And yeah. So, also, if you guys haven't done so, be sure to click the red button down below to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to receive notifications. And we will see you guys in the next video. Yep, yep. Give it a good smack. <laughs> this is Crystal. And Charles. Sonia. Bye, Bye birdies. birdies.